Hello all, and welcome back to High Ridge Farm with me, the Walrus. We are now in our second week here in the autumn or fall season, and it is bucketing down today, which makes my life slightly easier, as I don't need to worry about uh, some of the general um, watering, which actually, to be fair, I've got enough sprinklers that... A bit of a moot point, really. Actually, it's slightly frustrating, because the Junimos aren't out and about. However... What we're going to be doing today is grabbing ourselves some more blackberries because that's going to be an easy trick to pull today as, of course, more blackberries is uh, more good. Um, <laughs> that's particularly capable in the English language, don't you know? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm painfully aware that that sounded absolutely ridiculous. But really, I'm actually quite pleased as I'm after blackberries because it's just valuable. I mean, yes, I don't have to put, and well, not that that valuable, but I don't have to put any effort in, which makes life a lot easier for me. If I don't have to put any work in for it, well, done. Easy. Done and dusted. Fantastic. And that's really what I'm going for at the moment, is I'm lazy, and if I can be very lazy, well, even better. Why would that not be? So yes, that's um, that's kind of what I'm going for at the moment, is I don't have to put any work in on that regard. But we're going to cut down all these trees, we're going to make sure that we've got all of that sorted and organised, and that's good and all. And that's really what we're after, is just making sure it's all organised, all well and all good and such. So yeah, we'll, we'll get that all organised. Um, so yes... One of the things I am also thinking about today is I need to go and visit Robin because she decided to not be available um, yesterday, which is very annoying because, lo and behold, I would like her to be available for me to get stuff done because how dare she not want to do some work? Well, I'm going to provide her the wood so, and... I'm going to provide her with um, the opportunity to do work, I guess. So she should be pleased with uh, such a revelation from myself going, please come work on my farm. That is exactly what I want you to do, because that'd be nice. Thanks. But oh well. So she's going to come and work on the farm, and that's fine. Um... Just checking and say, oh, we got a train. Now, I don't often see the trains very uh, when they come through, which might be just because I'm a dozy git and didn't pay attention, but it also might just be because they haven't been very frequent. But I'm getting a bunch of magma geodes, which is kind of cool. Um, I've not seen them actually deliver magma geodes before, so that's kind of fun. Um, hopefully, this one will give me a bunch of coal, because, yes, coal, please. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe. So yeah, we're, we're going to try and work our way through on this one. So we've got a few more um, blackberries, going to cut this tree down, and just ride on over and just double check we get everything. Yes, I did also bash myself against the train and take some damage from that, but that's kind of a given um, that, well, I am an idiot, and... <laughs> That sort of thing is likely to happen when you're a moron. Um, and yeah. It's a, it's a wonderful, painful joy to be able to turn around and accept that I am an idiot and um, I will do very dumb things. Okay, so Robin, what else can you do for me? Now that you're here, I want you to build a shed for me and I have the perfect location. What do you mean you can't build there? I mean, okay, I can remove the the walkway. I didn't realise that was blocking it. Why is that? That's really annoying. That block of land there is also blocking it. Why is this that? Well, that's irritating. Oh, fiddlesticks and buncombe. Where am I going to put it then? Ugh. Well, I'm going to have to put it somewhere. Uh, uh, dumb as that sounds, it's going to have to go somewhere, isn't it? Ugh, that's frustrating. 
why is it being so awkward? I can't even put it there. Because I can't I can't access it very easily if it's there, so that's very annoying. Um Okay, well let's move the shipping bin. There's definitely something that's blocking the placement of um, shipping containers, which is kind of sad. Um, fine, we'll deal with that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what else I can do on that regard, though. Right, so now let's see that I've moved those. Um, I mean, I could put it here. But the trouble is the trees get in the way, and I can't... I can't put it there because of the road. Um, if I could get rid of that bush, it'd be fine, but I can't. And that's really annoying. Um, okay. What else could I do? Ugh. It looks like I'm going to have to move some more things. I'm going to move the mill. Um, I think that's probably going to be the best option for me, is moving the well and the mill. Um, because those are, I mean, they're not, like, super important um, to me in that regard. So, yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll, we'll move those and, I guess, hope for the best. That's still very annoying. Very, very frustrating. Oh well. We will have to live with it. Which is kind of depressing that that's what I've got to deal with right now. Um, but, again, we're going to build a shed. And it's going here. There. Fine. Fine. As you can tell, I'm thoroughly impressed about that placement. That's not where I wanted to put it. But we'll live. We'll have to live. Still very frustrating, but we will deal. Okay, so what's the next big plan of action on this one, then? Um, so, if that's the case, we will cut down these trees. I'm going to go and visit over the... Um, to where the other, like, the, to the quarry. And I'm going to just go and cut down some trees because, again, they don't need to be there. That's fine. I don't care so much about those. So that's fine. We'll, again, we'll deal with it. Okay, so we're going to cut some on some more trees. And again, we're going really for the production of wood here, which is, again, very handy. And that's something that we need. Um... But the question really then comes, do I really try and promote this area of growth? You can see that a lot of the trees I've I've managed to put down tree fertilizer on, because some of them won't uh, appreciate tree fertilizer in the same way, because, you know, they're in awkward, odd places, which kind of block one another, which is fine. It's just a bit annoying. Um when I honestly look at it. But it's not the end of the world. So we're going to slap some more trees in. Kind of hope for the best, really. Because, again, I just want the more more quick growth. And it just makes my life easier, really. Um, putting it that way. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to sort that out. Okay. Uh, so only a couple more trees. So that's fine. So, yeah. But we've got the growth going. We've got the growth going, and that's that's the important thing here. Again, that's wood production, which will allow me to build more of the kegs and actually the shed. And essentially, it'll help me make charcoal into coal, essentially, rather than natural charcoal. But yes, that's really what it is. Now, one of the things I'm going to do today is I'm going to go and visit the volcano. I'm going to go and improve one of my weapons. And I think it's going to be the dagger. Now, the reason I'm choosing the dagger is because the hammer is the weapon I used predominantly during my previous playthroughs of Stardew Valley. And the dagger's not a weapon that I've ever really used. So, 
in the interests of me trying out different things, I think I'm going to use the, uh, the hammer. So the dagger. Because I think that's interesting and fun. That, that's really what I'm after is, have I tried something different? And with this, then I'll be able to say, yes. Yes, I have. I've tried out something different this time. So... Do I need to go anywhere else on the farm is the next question, really, isn't it? Uh, I don't think I do. Um, so we'll, we'll have a quick, quick look. Okay. Right, so into the volcano we traipse. Now, there's nothing super concerning here that really I should be worried about, I don't think. But um, it is um, going to be one of those things where I actually have to put a little bit of work in. You know, some effort does need to be done. Which is fine. Okay, so I can't walk around this bit. That's fine. Um, what I have realised, though, is I need more um, copper. Because that's going to be handy for the Mr. Key's colour challenge. Um, I need, um, I need more iron, because copper and iron, again, are both useful for, um, making sure that I can, um, make the kegs, because the, the kegs are, that's what they require. And I can also transmute copper and iron if needs be. Which is, again, not something I should think I need to worry about, but it is a thing that I have the ability to do so, if needs be. Which is fine. Okay, so we're going to blow up all these stone bits. We're going to get that there. I mean, so we've still got plenty of time to get our way to the top of the volcano to get to the forge. Which is fine. Um, I'm not really expecting too much difficulty. In, in honesty. I can't see any particular reason why it would be particularly difficult. So that's fine. Um, what is my logic next? Well, I'm painfully aware I have no logic. Don't, don't at me, bro. <laughs> I know I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're going to try and sort this one out at least. Okay, so we've got lots more monsters here. Um, again, not particularly anything to be concerned with, I don't feel. Um, yeah. Let's kind of get this done. I think that's really what I'm sort of like looking at at the moment, is what else can I sort of wrangle and how am I going to achieve it? Um, and there's not anything that's particularly complex right now, I don't feel, um, as a a consideration, shall we say. Which is perfectly legitimate, really, isn't it? It's, there's not really anything that I need to be concerned about when it comes to doing stuff here. Um, it's just maybe time is uh, the only thing that I need to be worried about. Well, we're going to just mine these up and see what we can do better here. Okay, so we're going to mine this, mine that. It's the, the Cinder Shards. They're, they're, they're phenomenally handy. I need them for weapon manipulation and other augmentation. Now, one of the things I am also thinking about is I want to improve some of the stats of the dagger. Now, I know I can improve their stats by using gemstones, and I think we can do it up to three times. You also have the Enchant, which is using um, Prismatic Shards. So I've got to consider what enchantment do I want on it, and what improvements do I want to make, which unfortunately the improvement itself will then mean what colour gemstone do I need? So for example, I know that uh, ruby gives you an attack increase. I know that uh, diamonds give you a random increase, but it uh, does also cost less to do, which is phenomenally useful. It's uh, a bit of a weird um, thing, but that is actually the case for that. It's, it, it does give you a, a boost in an odd way and that you don't need to kind of worry about it, which is very bizarre, I'm painfully aware. 
But yes, that, that's that's kind of what I need to sort of look at at the moment, isn't it? Um, what else can I sort of wrangle? And how am I going to do it? Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go smash this open. And... I mean, we're coming up a bit late, aren't we? I'm going to jump through the hole in the ground. And then I'm going to go back to the top of the vault. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the volcano to get to the top using the shortcut that I should have used in the first blooming place. Again, I'm painfully aware of my general idiocy. You don't need to remind me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go through that. And once I've done that, then I will... Um, sort this out. So I'm going to improve my dagger here. That'll be good. Um, less work, less effort. You know, that sort of thing. Less concern, shall we say. Now, um, then we're going to... We've got an improved dagger, which is nice. Um, I'm probably going to try it out at some point. I'm going to take it out and stab things with it, because, well... I've made a nice new stabby thing. I should at least try it out. That is how stabby things work, right? You, you, you want to try them and stab stuff. But not right now. It's 1am on Wednesday, well, technically Thursday morning, and uh, we should be uh, in bed. Let's just quickly redistribute the things in the chests. And... Zip, 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 zip. Get ourselves ready to go. <laughs> and that'd be fine. Um, that'd be great. You know, we, we've got we've got a plan. And uh, it'll all be good. So, what can we kind of wrangle here? Well, that's the, that is the next question, isn't it? What do we need to wrangle? Um... I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But anyway, it's not a particularly valuable day today. As you can see, we've only made about 20-something K. So, hopefully, we can have a, a more financially viable day today. Um, so, one can hope that more crops are harvestable. Um, more is uh, sellable. You know, things and stuff and colouring in. Because that's what we're after, is selling things. It's what we need. It's what we need. So, let's see what we can actually sort out today. I should imagine that there should be some useful things that we can do today. Um, which would be good. Um, but then what else? That's, that is, again, the next question. Now, one of the things that I am kind of considering as well is how are we going to... Um, oh, we found me some stone. Thanks, George. Um, I mean, when I'm impressed that you managed to log that to a uh, mailbox, to be fair. Okay, so we've got just Leo. He needs a mango today, um, which is fine. Uh, he needs a mango, and he needs it today. <laughs> Because I want to make sure that he uh, is in receipt of mangoes. Because indeed, that is entirely how this all works. Uh, we, we will um, try our very best to see what we can we can do here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure otherwise, to be honest, though. Which is a sad shame. Um, yeah. So we've got all these lovely fruits, which is good. Now, I mean, those pumpkins must be soon ready. We look at all those. They're all, they're close. I think they'll be ready by the end of the week. Um, and they're, that's great. Because that's, um, that's money. That's lots of money, to be fair. Because that's a lot of pumpkins. And I'm debating whether I just fling them in for sale or do I keep them. Um, and preserve jar them. So it's uh, 
not quite a full swings and roundabouts, but I've got to consider what will be the most beneficial to me at this moment in time. I have an idea as to what will be good. Um, whether I'm correct on that is a very different question. I think that's really kind of what it boils down to. Am I correct um, in my assumptions? But I'm aware that they are the most valuable autumn crop, so one hopes that this, this works well for me um, on this one. So yeah, we're, we're going to give it a good old, good college try, aren't we? And uh, that's really all I can say on that one, is that I'm going to try and see for the best. Right, so let's see what we can get here. Um, again, now it's just going to be looking through what can we actually um, squeeze in. Um, with regards to um, you know when you have a brain fart in the middle of a sentence I've just done that exactly again um, what can we squeeze in in, the, in regards to preserve jars and um, the other production that we've got going on here which again not a bad thing but it is something we're going to have to consider like what can we do and how we're going to organise it you know very important stuff really Okay, so we've got lots of hops, and I think that's another thing that I've got to kind of consider is the beer production is quick. So if I come to a point where I run out of star fruit, I will go to beer production because of the speed. It's not going to be that beneficial otherwise, though, I don't think. Um, beer isn't that valuable, sadly. Um, but look at all that starfruit wine, lovely, and all that starfruit jelly as well. So yes, the wine's going to be more valuable than the jelly, but again, they're both value. Um, and it's a multiplier on the basic starfruit, it's just how that works, isn't it? So, it's great. That's really all I can say, is that that's what we need, that's what we want, and that's how we're going to do stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> No ifs, and or buts about it. That, that is exactly what we need to do. We need to get this um, done and uh, as fantastic as possible. Righty. Let's see. What else can we sort of wrangle on this bit? Okay. So we've also got... Um, I think that's the question. Is What else can we sort of wrangle here? It's going to be... I need to make some more preserved jars. There's no ifs, and or buts about that one, unfortunately. It, it needs to happen, and it needs to happen quickly. Because then I can sort of stop myself from worrying about those bits because like I don't need to care in in honesty it's that that's kind of the consideration I've got at the moment is do I need to care about that do I do I need to worry um should I worry I'd rather not have to to be fair um but yeah that's what we're looking at um so let's see what we can do here well, we're going to fling in the starfruit wine. That's going to make us some money, which would be good. And that's what we need. Now, my little coop here. Now, I don't think me putting mayonnaise machines in here is as well is as good an idea. Because my logic is that if I have just one set of mayonnaise machines, that way I can't fail to remember to, to use them. In, in that regard. Like, I don't have to worry about it because it's just going to be always being done um, and that's kind of the the logic is that I haven't split my attention into two places at the same time um, which as I have learned um, splitting my attention means that I will end up with more brain farts and brain farts are bad because that's when my brain goes I'm not going to behave thank you very much and it's, it's something that I've uh, been trying to explain to my parents of late is um, my father doesn't quite understand the whole um, ADD thing. It's, it's only because it's a reasonably recent diagnosis for myself. It was only this year. Um, as in 2023 on that one. But trying to explain to him and going, but dad, you also have these characteristic traits. You are probably also a little bit neurospicy. <laughs> I think it's he's actually reflecting on his own behaviours a bit more now and going, ah, okay, I, I can see it, I can see it. <laughs> Which is funny. Um, 
if you ask me at least. I think it's funny. I hope he um I hope he can figure it out and it works out for him at least. Because I've got plans, I've got logic, and I, it, it works for what I'm trying to do, at least. Okay, so... We're just going to cut through this. We're going to grab this hazelnut, because it's there, and it's not a bad idea. Um, I guess the next question is, really, what else do I want to do here today? Um, because that's... That's the next major question, isn't it? Is the, what am I going to do, and how am I going to wrangle it? So, yeah, we, we've got some plans. Again, we've got ideas. That's, that's all I can say, is we have some some ideas and some maybe method to the madness. And, uh, again, that's what we're after. We're, we're after making sure that stuff gets done and um, make sure that the farm is in a good place. So, this lovely thunderstorm is good because that is going to mean that we'll get some more batteries, which is nice, and I'm always going to be appreciate having more batteries uh, on, on the farm because, again, that's just, again, value. Because I might not need the batteries immediately, but I can sell them, and making the money from that is really all I'm about right now. So we've got some more blackberries, going to cut down this tree again. Again, we're just after improving the stocks and resources of what we've actually got. Trees, the wood is going to be the, like a major component thing for me, I think. Um, because, yeah, I, I need wood. There's no ifs, and or buts about it. Um, so, yeah, that's... I need a lot of wood, to be very honest. Um... And that's not a bad thing. It's just, it's a need that I have for my um, continued development. There he is, me being all ridiculous and over the top. But to be fair, me and ridiculous and over the top are, generally they go hand in hand. I will freely admit that I am absolutely absurd in my general mannerisms and behaviours. Because that is what I do. Okay. Let's see, are any of the trees regrown down here? Any of the blackberries? The blackberries have, that's good. We need lots of those. Always going to be keen on getting more blackberries. That's a given, really, isn't it, I think? Um, what else can we sort of sort out on that one? Uh, ooh, ho hum, ho hum, ho hum. There's got to be something else that we can sort of wrangle on this one, right? Well, one would hope there's something else that we can wrangle. Uh, oh, I think I visited the Hat Mouse a while ago. Not like a silly long time ago, but it's been recent at least. It's not like it's, um, I didn't visit them for a long, long time. I don't think they, I don't believe that their stock rotates very heavily, but it might do. Um, I, I've definitely got what's available at the moment, though. That's that's kind of what I'm sort of like getting at is that I I do have what is available from the hat mouse, which is fine because that's how this works. We're we're gonna gather what we can from the hat mouse, and uh, everything will be great. So, what else can we sort out here, though, today? Well, we're going to head to the Ginger Island today. Um, I think that's going to be a, a good idea, generally. Um, and what else can we sort of do here today? Uh, again, we're going to be cutting down some trees because they're here. Um, but I do want to test whether I can sow crops here. I believe I can. Um, so it, it's, it is a, a consideration. Um, but for now I'm just going to sort of like clear out this area here by the, the not quarry but quarry area. I think it's probably the best way of describing this, this section is that it is the quarry-ish 
bit. Isn't it? Really? Um, right, anyway, we're going to get the bone. That's fine. We're going to get all these random fossils, which, again, I don't really need, but I can turn them into fertilizer with the uh, bone mill. Which, again, perfectly fine. That's how this works. But there is sort of like a thought on that one, because maybe there are a couple of other places that I could use... Um, really, in the sort of like the bone mill production sort of thing. Kind of wondering on that one, actually. Because hopefully there's some, like, useful. Um, I, I don't think they can give you anything that Mr. Key can give you as a, um, a recipe. But all the same, it's kind of nice. Now, I've got some more treasure troves and some golden coconuts. So I think a visit to Clint is in order in the next couple of days. Um, because I also want to see about him cracking open those Omnigeodes. And I'm still debating whether the it's going to be more financially viable for me to get him to crack open the Omnigeodes. Or if I transfer the Omnigeodes into... Uh, what are they called? Treasure troves over in the desert. So, I think I'm going to have a look and see on that one, because maybe, I think maybe the treasure troves might be more valuable. Especially considering they do have the chance of dropping the treasure chest. And that's worth a lot of money. Definitely. Definitely worth a lot of money. So that's maybe something I should look at on that one at least. So, yeah, yeah I've, I've got ideas. Um... Can't say for certain if they're particularly good ones, but we've got them all the same. <laughs> all the same, the ideas are there. Well, hopefully they'll be good. Um, yes. So that that's kind of what I'm I'm looking at at the moment on that one. Um, so yeah, let's hope for the best. Uh, for now, however, we are going to just um, wrangle ourselves off on a random direction, isn't it? I think that's really all I can say on this one. I'm going off in random directions doing weird and wonderful things. There's no other... I can't help it. it. That is exactly what we're doing. We're going to go and off and do odd things. Right. Um, now... I mean, it's only 9.20. We've still got plenty of time to do stuff. It's just whether they are um, as useful as I'm thinking they might be. Because I could be very wrong, sadly. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's what I've got to, to figure out on this, at least. Is there anything else that I can sort out today that I can put in here? Well, we'll put the sap in, because I'm actually generating a, a half-decent amount of sap. And actually, what's slowing me down now weirdly, is the lack of iridium. Which, again, I've got the iridium, I can make it, I can smelt it. It's it's not going to be silly, silly difficult to do. But that's actually what's slowing me down right now. So, you know, we're, we're coming up with a, a decent production rate, which is good. Um, yeah. You can see I've still got quite a, a substantial amount of iridium ore. And that's not too much of a worry. It's going to be, how am I going to um, wrangle the rest of it? Okay, so let's sort that out. Um, put those in there for now. And again, I'm going to need more of them. There's no ifs, and or buts, really. Now, quadrilite fertilizer, lovely stuff. That's fine. Um, I've got to think about this one a little bit more, haven't I? Sadly, that's the, the big thing in my brain is I've got to, got to think about it. Got to be sensible. Got to think. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep the bananas and mangoes and star fruit. I'm going to take that down to uh, wherever it needs to go, and kind of hope for the best on that bit. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's pop this in here. Uh, I think the mangoes should go in elsewhere. So the, the star fruit's definitely going in here. That's fine and all. Um, but where else do I want to take stuff? That's the, the question, really, isn't it? Where else do I want to put things? Where do they need to go? What am I going to do? 
Okay, so... Gonna... Just... I mean, that's quite... I think I've got quite a comprehensive amount of gubbins in that particular shed. I mean, look at all that. There's a nice selection of things to be pickled and preserved. And the, the preserved jars have got that low cycle speed, like, low cycle time. It's not a silly amount of time for me to get stuff organized. Um, I think it's, what, four days to pickle something? Five days if it's the sturgeon row? So, yeah, that, that's pretty good, I think. Um, so I should be able to uh, sort that out. Which would be great and all. And uh, that, that, that's what I'm after. Um, so, yeah. What else can I sort of wrangle on this one? I think it's the, the big question, though, isn't it? Um, yeah. Again, it's going to be a lot of umming and ahhing. That's the worst part. So I've got all of these pumpkins that are growing in here, which is, again, very nice and lovely and all. Um... But what what do I want to do with these pumpkin like this space here I there's going to have to be something vaguely more useful that I can do with it for now right now immediately it's the fairy roses are being grown in here and but I'm not sure if honestly that's the most viable use of my time resources and well effort. So, I kind of need to have a figure out of that one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um over that one, I feel. Uh, I think that's really what's going to happen, is I'm going to have to have a good think. Um, but yeah, the pumpkins are good and all, but I don't know what else, if I want to grow anything in here, that would be better. I mean, maybe star fruit in here, because I know that was a a growing thing, but I'm also using Ginger Island to grow star fruit, so I'm not sure if that's actually um, as useful. Ugh, I've got to figure this one out, haven't I? Not the end of the world, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so we've got 100 cranberries. Um, that won't take long. Honestly, I, I really don't think it'll take long at all to gather the, the last few cranberries. It'll be great. We'll have that money coming in from the agricultural doodad fund or whatever it is. Uh, I think the money is like a multiplier based on the actual value of the crops. So I'm already shipping them out anyway. So it's just bonus money, isn't it? Um, and again, not going to be upset about that. Because bonus money is bonus money. Yeah. Right. Um, so we've got a new animal. Uh, we've got nobody available in the naming rights tier at the moment. So it's going to be named after another guinea pig. I'm just debating which one. And which one have I not uh, named one after yet? I think Gunny is the best bet on that one. So, let's see what we can do. We've got another baby ostrich, which is good. So again, we'll have more eggs coming through, which is really what I'm after is more eggs. Um, because it's the value of them uh, it, for me. Uh, as an individual because they'll just be useful but for now I think that's going to wrap everything up for the day so thank you very much for tuning in if you have enjoyed please do like share and subscribe because it always does help it's all about that algorithm but uh, hopefully I'll catch you all again the next time the walrus plays Stardew Valley <laughs>